Yo, what up? It's your big homie. And we back at it again. Hey, I got my boy Soldier Creep all the way up here from Florida. Yo. How you feeling, dog? You good? Yeah, I'm all right. Hi, Atlanta Tree, man. I know you brought some of the, that Florida weather with you. It's raining like hell outside. I see that, but you know it's still, you know, it's great up in Atlanta. Yeah, you know, and I tried to stunt. I tried to stunt today. I, I felt like I felt good about myself. I like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm putting gold slugs in. I come in the studio. He got the top and bottom gold slugs in. I can't compete. Yeah, these trophies, man. You look like prime. Chad Johnson right now. Yeah, I know you you remember Chad Johnson, right? Yeah. <laughs> so you remember Chad Johnson used to play the games with the Bengals with the full gold set. I don't look set. like him. You don't look like him, but you but with yeah, the with the teeth Creed. in. I look like Soldier Creek. Yeah, you like Soldier Creek. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about Soldier Creek, man. So first thing, let's talk about the name. How do we get the name Soldier Creek? Uh a lot of a lot of war stories, you know what I mean? A lot of war stories the street heard about me, you know what I'm saying? I ain't named myself there. Oh, so the streets gave you that name. Yeah. Got you, got you, got you. So, you know, Soldier Creep, of course, you're an artist. Um, how long have you been making the music? Uh, I've been rapping since a youngin. I just started taking it serious in 2015. Mm -hmm. So, coming out of Florida, I mean, Florida has a real rich history in the game right now. So, who were, like, when you were, when you was a kid, when you was a jit, as they say, we use the jit as they say in Florida. Who were you listening to on the come up? Who who inspired you? And who? From Florida, or just from in general. Well, well, both. Let's let's say both. All right, from Florida, uh, I, I looked at the plies and the rap shit. You know what I'm saying? But in general, I looked at the BG. I listened to a lot of BG, Soldier Slim, Old Hot Boy, and shit like that right there. Okay. Okay. So would you say BG kind of influenced your style, or did he kind of like yeah, have any BG. hand in that? Yeah, free BG man, you know what I'm saying? B he he showed me like just listening to his music, it showed me how to move in the streets. You know, free BG. Definitely, man. Hey, real hot boy shit. Free BG. We need a boy home. That is real hot, hot boy, boy shit. Yeah, that's real hot boy shit, you know what I'm saying? Free Jizzle. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, what is the name of your latest project? Let's get into that. Uh, I'm working on the better of the beast right now. Uh -huh. That's my mixtape. That's what I'm working on. Okay. So, do you have any anybody that you would want featured on there? Anybody we're reaching out to? You got any fl surprise Florida connects popping up on there? What's up? Yeah, I've been working with artists that even up in Atlanta. I worked with a few new artists and shit. But you know, mm -hmm. I don't know who I want to put on the tape right now. Okay. So, since we are in Atlanta, I gotta ask you, like. What is, who are some of your favorite Atlanta artists? Like Atlanta artists in general, Atlanta artists that you're reaching out that you want to work with? Uh, who I work with? Uh, I've been doing work by myself. I did a song with T.K. Travis. You from what the T.K. Kravitz? Yeah, you know what? As a matter of fact, T.K. Kravitz was... Is first of all, that's the homie. Okay. I've been I've been rocking with T.K. Kravitz since he was with T.K. and Cash when he was in the group. I know T.K. Kravitz since before he was cursing in his music. He, I, I say that every time people bring him up. I, I know him, so he was a younger, for real, for real. So you rocking with the, with the homie T.K. Kravitz, yeah, cool. Yeah, man, him working on, working on, got a little, little uh, single we working on. Okay, so I, if I, if you got T.K. Kravitz on there, I know it's a song yeah. for the bitches. Yeah, for the bitches. <laughs> for the whole, you know what I'm saying? Little thoughts, you know what I'm saying? Little snot thoughts. Oh, man, I feel it. So would you say you... Do you have a lot of songs dedicated to the women on your on your music? Nah, actually I don't. So I this is, that's a step in it's yeah, a yeah, different direction. It was a challenge, you know what I'm saying? It was a challenge, and, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know another another artist out of Florida that um I think he from, from up north Florida, but uh, YK Osiris. I, I I I just found out about him a few months ago, but his song is strictly for the women, and I'm glad you're bringing that straight gutter gritty Florida sound back, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm from the trenches, you know what I mean? I just rap what I live. Uh -huh. So a lot of people, um, you know, a lot of people in the news right now, they talk about you know Kodak Black be wild, and he he's really one of the biggest artists out for Florida right now. And we had we we talked to Trick Daddy, and Trick Daddy said Kodak Black can never overstep his boundaries. 
He said he co he basically co Tiago in my line. Trick Daddy basically co signed everything Kodak Black like everything he did. I'm behind him too. So so you support Kodak Black too? You got that uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> So, Kodak, happy birthday, Yite. Hey, it, it definitely is his birthday. Shout out to the homie Kodak Black. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so Florida sticking together, basically. Well, you know, I don't got no beef with nobody in Florida. Yeah. I can't speak on what everybody else got going on. Well, I mean, I think, I don't, I mean, this is just based, this top of the, the head. Not, I don't really think Florida beefing like that. Nah. Florida's been, Florida's been pretty united on a, on a real united front, even when they have had issues it's always florida versus everybody because even when uh ebro had the issues with kodak trick daddy came out of nowhere and said hold up pimp you're not gonna talk to my dog like that yeah yeah put on for florida man i salute yeah so what do you like to do what what does soldier creek like to do in his free time when he's not in the booth when he's not doing shows when he's not on the road what do you like to do to kick back and chill get some pussy <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, I'm glad I'm glad you said that shit. So, give me Soldier Creeps top three industry crushes. And when I say industry crushes, I'm gonna include the the IG models too. Like who, like who page you be stalking? Who who page do you gotta see when you when you pop up on the gram? I follow Hennessy. Hennessy. Yeah, that Cardi B suit. That's Cardi B suit. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Oh you, oh, you like Cardi B's sister? Yeah, I like her. I like okay. Her. Yeah, okay. Who who else? Give me some more. Lil Wayne daughter, what her name is? Reg Regina Carter? Uh, Reg Reginae can get the pipe. Yeah, she 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 baby mama material. Okay. Okay. Regina Carter. One more, one more, one more. Uh I've been fucked up by Megan Good since I was a since I was a chick. Hey, you know what? And you're not lying, cause Megan Good I I feel like Megan Good is our Generation Halle Berry, you feel me? All the old heads were stuck on Halle Berry. Oh, Halle Berry, so fine. Megan Good, got it. Been good, always been fine. Since she was at the ice cream truck on Friday. 